Kenshin 1913 along with Mom. And today we are doing another cooking with Kenshin 1913. And today we're going to be making quiche. Or as I like to call it, quiche. Hello. As Pete mentioned, we're going to be making quiche today. Quiche is an, kind of an egg-based um, uh, food. Uh, you can use uh, variations to it. Today we're going to be using ham in it. Um, so there's eggs, ham, cheese, and spices, yeah. and that's basically it. It's like a delicious baked omelet. So let's uh, let's go over what we're going to be using today. We're going to be ha we're going to be using ham. Ham. We're going to have cheese. We have grated cheese. We're going to have eggs. Eggs, and um, I'm actually using egg beaters. Yeah, egg beaters are just basically like egg whites, but they they took out all the yolk so that it's a little more healthy for you. Um, and then milk, we're, we're needing milk and some spices and self-rising flour or bisquick. We'll probably call it bisquick, but what that is is basically self-rising flour. Before you start preparing everything, you should uh, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'm actually going to be using a glass Pyrex dish. Mm -hmm. You could use um, a tin pie plate. Um, you could even use a square pan and make it in there. It just so happens I always make mm. mine in um, the Pyrex dish. Okay. Cool. So what are we doing first? Okay. What is the first step to this bad boy? Okay. The first step is we're going to add the Bisquick. Yes. Now there's many variations on this recipe. You do not need to just do, you don't have to just do ham. You can do bacon. You can do spinach. You can do artichokes. No, not art, uh, asparagus. You can do actually artichokes as well. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you don't have to use just meat. You can actually just make an egg and cheese one, an egg and cheese quiche. Okay, so that's one cup of self-rising um, flour. flour or bisquick. Or bisquick. So also, we're going to be using ham. Now we chopped up some ham earlier, way earlier. And uh, we food saved it, but that's uh, and it's about a pound of ham. Yeah, about a pound. So yeah, you can use deli ham, uh, cold cuts if you want. Yep, you just get a thicker slice yeah. and then just cube it up. Yeah, because you want cubed for this bad boy. Um, you the small box of vegetables, which I think is um, there's ten ounces. Uh, ten ounce of spinach or broccoli. Mm -hmm. Um, that you if you wanted to do that. Um, bacon, yeah. you fry, you would fry up your bacon yeah. and then um, put it in there. So, so what I usually do is I put this in the flour mm -hmm. and mix it around because that will uh, help it. Um, it'll be coated and it won't sink totally to the bottom of the pan. Yeah, because sometimes this bad boy likes the ham pieces or whatever you're putting in. Sometimes like to sink to the bottom. And sometimes it likes to get a little brown. and It could be a pain sometimes. So, yeah, you could do this. Okay, now I'm going to add some of my spices. Mm-hmm. And we're going to add... So I'm putting some pepper. And, you know, I, I don't usually measure it. I can kind of eyeball it. But I would say maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. Um, then we're going to use some onion powder. And I would say about... Um, a half a teaspoon of onion powder. I just, as I said, I kind of know and judge. So it could be anywhere from a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. And and you'll you'll um you'll know uh, by the taste mm -hmm. um, if you want to add something or delete something. Some people um, even put some hot peppers in yeah. it. Yeah. You know, um, just same way that they would make an omelet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've been making quiche for quite a long time. Yep. I, and actually, there's actually other variations of quiche. Uh, the one we're going to be making just a plain quiche. There's also one called a quiche Lorraine, which basically is you start off with a pie crust, uh, like a, just a store. Uh, uh, yeah, a, a pie shell. What you do is you, um, you know, defrost it, poke it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you put it in the oven to bake for... Um, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Just to get just it. Just to get it to, to set and to start to cook. Mm -hmm. You don't want to cook it all the way. Mm -hmm. Then you'll take your, your mixture yeah. of, the, um, of the quiche, pour it into the pie dish, and let it continue uh, baking. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you want to do, too, when you're working with um, 
eggs and uh, you want to put it on a tray because sometimes it'll it'll boil over and you don't want to make a mess in your oven mm -hmm. um, there's another variation that we learned as well there it's called um, shredded potatoes that yeah you like a hash brown bottom. kind of like would... a hash brown they're not frozen you get them in the refrigerator section mm -hmm. um, they're just plain shredded potatoes yeah you take those and you, and you pat, pat them in yeah you pat them down on this thing and making like crust yep you put those in the oven as well until they start to cook and, and you want to you want to see them start to brown and then you would take your um egg yeah. mixture pour yeah. it in there and then continue yes. um uh, baking it so so those are two other variations. Yeah, and but we're I just going to be doing the plain way. Yep, this one here is the, um, it's, it makes its own crust. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, so the next thing we're going to be working on, we got, we got everything seasoned and we got everything mixed up. Now we're going to be adding what, milk? Uh, yep, it's a one and a half cups of milk. And Pete's going to give you all of the uh, basic ingredients. And the description, the video description. Below. and you don't want to add all your milk at first you want to kind of mix it around a bit now now in case you don't have egg beaters this recipe calls for three to, to four, four large large eggs. eggs but one egg one cup of egg beaters is actually um, is actually equal to to four large eggs right so let's finish with the milk here just gotta mix it together and yeah, we started doing this, um, trying to cut back on uh, fat and cholesterol yeah. uh, a few years back, and um, yeah. you, you can't you can't tell. Um, yeah, because we use egg beater. We used to. If, if some people might know um, carbonara sauce. It's basically like an egg sauce, Italian egg sauce, and that is uh, that is uh, usually with eggs. And, uh, you know, we were trying to think of a way to cut back on all the eggs. And we decided to use egg beaters. And that has been working well for us ever since. So now you just kind of mix it up. You got the eggs in there. You got the Bisquick. You got the milk. And that's this is really easy. This is like... And this is um, 8 ounces of um, shredded cheese. No. Pete, Pete had bar cheese and this yeah, is a sharp cheddar. I just shredded it cheddar. myself. I figured I wouldn't show you. Maybe I'll show you another time. But We have is, a grater. Yeah, we you just know, use, hand grater and we just took the time. It's just manual labor. Yep. So, yeah, for this you do not want to use all of the cheese right away. You just kind of want to mix it all together. Um, incorporate some cheese because you want to leave some cheese for the top. So, like, when, uh, because this obviously is going to be baked, I like to leave a little bit of cheese for the top so that when, uh, it's almost done cooking, I like to put a little bit of cheese on top, and then you got a nice, like, cheesy top. It's just yum, yum, yum. Yeah, and you can, use, again, you can use any kind of cheese that you like. You, this happens to be, um... White cheddar. White cheddar, uh, sharp white cheddar. You can use Monterey Jack. You can mm. use Colby Jack. You can use, um... Uh, provolone you can mm. use swiss cheese yeah it really all depends on what you're putting in it we always find that like a, a sharper cheddar is better for ham so yeah and well, when we when i do my spinach i actually put um swiss cheese in it mm -hmm. okay uh what we're going to do now that our mixture is ready i'm going to prepare my pl uh, plate my pie plate and i'm going to lightly grease it with some crisco you mm. could also use spray um, baking. What is um, it called? Pam. Like Pam. Yeah, you yeah, can or use Pam baking or spray. Baking. Because you don't want you don't want your quiche to, to yeah. stick to the uh, pan when you're trying to get it out. Yeah, and depending on what kind of uh, pan you're using, you definitely want to make sure you get those little in, indents there, the little creases, so that it will not stick to that. So you just gotta do a nice uh, nice helping of it. Okay. So let's pour the bad boy in, huh? And this is really it right here, and uh, you just pour it in, and this usually makes enough for one. Sometimes I have enough ham that I'll make two. And so now once you got all the contents in... This is great. We uh, we do brunches um, 
couple of times a year and yeah. we always make um, some quiche, type some of soy quiches. quiches cuz they're delicious. They they can be for breakfast, lunch or dinner. It's just yep, great. Yeah, I take it I take a piece for lunch with um yeah. some tomatoes and I have my fruit and uh, it's delicious. Yeah, so what you want to do is just kind of like if everything is in the middle there, you just kind of want to um what is, what's the word? You just want to make sure all the contents are spread all around like the cheese and the ham. And basically, we're going to throw this bad boy into a 350 oven for about 45 minutes. 45 to, to 50, uh, 45 to, to 60, 60 minutes. minutes. You're, and then you'll see when it's nice and golden brown, you, you'll see it's golden brown on the sides mm -hmm. and underneath. Um, that'll mm -hmm. be the time when it's done. Yeah, then, then you can, you can uh, actually, when that, that's happening, you can throw yourself some cheese on top. Let it sit in for like another 5-10 minutes. And you should be all set. So... Actually, that's what we're going to do. So We're going to we... time it for you. I'm yeah. going to put our timer on. Yeah. And um, we'll show you when we go to put the cheese back on it. And then we'll show you the totally uh, finished product. Okay. Okay, here we are. Um, it's 45 minutes. And we've taken the quiche out for the last little bit of cheese on top. As you can see, it started to brown. And on the sides, it's, it's browning as well. Um, so then we're going to put the cheese on top. A little left over. Yeah. And, and there was one thing we forgot to mention that you could or could not uh, put in your quiche if you wanted to. It was a pinch of, of nutmeg. nutmeg. If you remember or you have viewed our um, baked macaroni recipe, um, mm -hmm. remember anything that's kind of a white sauce or eggy sauce, you can always add a pinch of nutmeg. Uh, nutmeg and that would be probably like a quarter of a teaspoon mm -hmm. um, just gives it a little extra taste and that's optional as well mm -hmm. and now we're just gonna put this back in the oven for another what 10 to 15 About minutes 10 15 minutes let it brown a little bit more the cheese will melt and we will take it out and uh, see the final product hello uh, we just took our quiche out maybe about 10 15 minutes ago um, to let it cool yes. now when it actually came out it was actually puffier. Anything with eggs, as you know, almost kind of like you know about a souffle, it rises. Mm. As it cooled, um, it went down in the middle. Now, how and to tell that you you uh, how to tell that it's done is what? How to tell that it's done is usually you put a sharp knife through the middle or, or a long um, skewer or a toothpick, and when it comes out clean, you know that it's done. And this would have been done right when you took it out of the oven or just before you took it out of the oven just to make sure that it was done now see how that just came out nice and clean mm -hmm. and so that's done and then I, we let it set for about 10 minutes to yeah, cool down yeah you don't want to eat this piping hot otherwise you might burn yourself so let's let's cut ourselves a piece of the quiche or quiche as i like to call it mm -mm -mm. so yeah this, this recipe is very versatile very easy to make you know, again, ham, you can do it with anything, really. Ham, bacon, cheese, I guess, you know, spinach, and, and all that good stuff. So let's get the, then, as we all know, the first piece is always the hardest piece to get out. And let's see that mother. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you see it that. piping hot. Look at and that, it's young. fluffy. And it made its own crust. Mm -hmm. See? So here is our quiche. Look at that, huh? Piping hot, nice and fluffy, and delicious. So there's some other stuff you can eat along with the quiche. Say if this, you don't think this is a whole meal. Like what? Uh, a nice uh, garden salad. Mm -hmm. um, some people will have like a bowl of soup with, with it on the side. And uh, you can really have it any time. Yeah. Um, breakfast lunch or a dinner yeah but i like to i like i like to just eat it by itself because it's just so damn good and it's easy to make that is so nice and fluffy and light and just really good and you didn't think you can make this with eggs and make it delicious so this has been pete on kenji 1913 along with mom and this has been another cooking with kenji 1913 Enjoy and happy eating. Mm.